Uh, there's a pressure tube coming off the inducer motor, which the inducer motor creates a draft. There's a pressure tube, and sometimes that guy going off the collector box will get some minerals, calcium and such. It'll clog it. So we're going to clean that pressure port out so it doesn't cause any problems in the future. That's another big call in the winter. Let's go ahead and make sure this tube is clear to you. The tube connects to a pressure switch, which has to make for your furnace to run correctly. Run it all, actually. checks out. So now we're going to do all our checks um, that we're going to need to do while the unit is cycling. And what we're going to do here is a few things. We're going to test the gas pressures um, measured in inches of water column. Um, and I would say most, most gas valves in the valley are not adjusted correctly. Um, so we're going to check we're going to check gas pressures for one. Um, we're going to amp the electrical loads on all the motors, and that's a good indication. An amp load tells us how hard that motor's working. We're going to check the bearings on the motor, also make sure there's no play in them. And again, if messing with a gas valve, you you should be certified. One thing we left out, Dylan. Yeah. Uh, the P-trap. Yeah. On a 90% furnace. Um, we do normally blow those out, clean them out. They do fill up with debris. And when they do fill up with debris, it doesn't let your condensing furnace drain properly. And that will cause a series of events to, for your furnace to fail. It's another big check. We can blow this one out from the nitrogen. Really hard to get to. As you can see, it's crammed. Most furnaces are. A lot of bells and whistles. The noise you're hearing right now is your inducer motor firing. 
that's the first in the sequence of operations. And that proves to your pressure switch that your inducer motor is running, which ignites your gas valve and your pilot assembly. And you get flames. This one's exactly 3.5, which is the factory setting. 3.5 inches of water column is factory setting. Um, and they and you deregulate due to altitude a bit. We don't have to worry about it too much here in Boise. do before we amp out this inducer motor is see what the rating is. This one is a 3.3. While we're doing these checks there is live Live voltage 24 volts and also 120. So there's a lot of precaution taken here. We don't want to get electrocuted. So that one rating is 3.3 .3 and it was at 2.8. So we are within our rating. An inducer motor, for some of you, you might know, it might make a little bit of noise. When they get old, they, they start making a bit of noise, so if they are getting noisy on you, you might want to have it checked out. <laughs> 